It's hard to believe that my next guest only made his television debut four years ago, but he's now one of the nation's most popular stand-up comedians, and here he is doing what he does best. Well, what an absolute pleasure to welcome Deborah Meaden, a dragon in the house! There's a dragon in the house! How are you, Deborah? Um, are, you, are you local, Deborah Meaden? What? Taunton. Taunton? Oh, that's not far at all, Taunton. So, Sam, uh, you're one of my favourite dragons. I like it when you go, so let me tell you where I'm at. That's good. <laughs> let me, do, do you say that when you pick up your mobile? Is that what you mean? <laughs> I'm out. In fact, you should, have that, you should have that on your answer phone. You should have that on your answer phone. Hi, this is Deborah Meaden. Let me tell you where I'm at. I'm out. That'd be lovely. <laughs> <laughs> He's just published his autobiography. It's aptly called Life and Laughing. Will you please welcome Mr. Michael McIntyre? Let me hear. I was just, uh, I was just thinking, what, watching that clip. Is that what you say now when you pick up the phone? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, not quite. I'm out. Um, <laughs> so look, I'd like to take this opportunity, seeing as uh, seeing tonight seems to be the night to announce my homosexuality. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. He's not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he tried his hand in the dressing room. I said, how dare oh, you? It's such a pleasure to be here, Paul. It's lovely to yeah, meet you, cos we've never met. Do you know what? No, I'm going to freak it out now. When I was reading your book, I came across this photograph of a gentleman in here, and I thought, I know him. It's your dad. I knew him. That's I used amazing. to work in a restaurant in the King's Road a right. hundred years ago. In fact, it was yeah. the last supper, if I'm going to be honest. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny Everett used to come in and see yeah. me, and your dad came in a couple of nights as well. That's amazing. And we stayed You're behind. sure it was him? Well, listen. And, Are you uh, going to have another look? <laughs> no, I don't forget a face. And yes. Right. Oh, and yeah, there was a picture just came it's up. It's the picture of him with Barry Cryer. Yeah, that made right, me yeah. twig. Yeah. 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 Uh, him and Barry, Barry wrote the uh, Ken Everett show together. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it would have been back in the day, you know. I That's suppose right. you were. When, when were you doing. Oh, look, oh, what were there. you doing at that time? Uh, How long ago uh, was that? It was about 19. Um, shut up, Bert. About 19. <laughs> <laughs> in the second. Uh, 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 it was a long time ago. Like. <laughs> right. um, but yeah, he came over to be a, be a comedian. Um, so, you know, I suppose he was around that world. And um, yeah, I think he, he, he did comedy in London and in clubs. And yeah. I, I knew very little about it. But obviously, you know, as I was, uh, you know, I called up Barry, who helped me a lot with the book. Yeah. And, you know, talking about all those old times. And it's fascinating, obviously, yeah. because and, I am now a comedian, too. Uh, well, <laughs> what would you do if it was a baker? Would you be working in Greg's? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Listen. I love so this show. Have I said that yet? I do love it. I watch it every week. I love it so much, I bought an SCS sofa. That's how much I love it. <laughs> that, that's dedication. I've got three in the house. <laughs> <laughs> I sit at home watching it like that. I want one of them where the legs come up and you lie yeah, there yeah, like yeah. that. Fabulous. They were so they're, they're wonderful. It. Really good. So I don't want to upset the advertisers. <laughs> well, I've got one. It's lovely. But they get more hideous as they go on. Whoa! Oh my! Yo! Jesus! <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> Look, there's some doubts in this book, and you say this about your paternity. Oh, right. We've got a picture here of you as a yeah, this baby. This is the, the first picture of me ever, yes. isn't it? Look. Because oh. <laughs> he thought, didn't he think oh. you were Chinese? Yes. <laughs> 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 what did you yeah. say? <laughs> yeah. Well, I've got, the, I've got the picture on the back of the book. I know. Um, and it says, a, a midwife asked my... This is true. Asked my mother if my father was Chinese or Japanese. My grandparents thought my parents took home the wrong baby. Questions were asked about my mother's fidelity. My father beat up our local dry cleaner, Mr Wu. <laughs> That's pretty much how it happened. <laughs> <laughs> Well, my That's poem. not my baby! <laughs> Fraser, we've rooted round and we found your long lost brother. <laughs> right, Seriously. Where is he? There he is. I think it's really unfair that the kid next to him is laughing at him. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a kid on the other side, but he's just at him. That's, oh, that. goodness, That's why he's so drunk. Do you know what I love? I love your Hungarian grandmother. Yeah, she's she, my kind of woman. Yeah, she was a character. Yeah, my shoots from the hip. Yeah, she didn't hold back. She was a very glamorous uh, Hungarian. Cos, you know, my, my mother's uh, hung had Hungarian parents, so I come from... My father was Canadian, so I'm this very strange mix, as you can see from... Uh, and there she is there. That's me before my audition for the Omen film. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> yeah, so she was a, a real character. You know, hello, darling. Much like sort of Jean Jean Gabor. But unfortunately, um, yes, we did fall out. That's in the book. Oh, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she used to give you money for playing Scrabble. Yes, that helped me a great deal. Um, <laughs> she didn't trust banks, and she, she was married to a very rich man, so she had all her money out, taken out of the bank and put in £50 notes and hid it around her house. Well, so I'd you'd be sort of reclining cleaner. in the bath and open up sort of like the shampoo and stuff, and there'd be 50s in it. Just <laughs> hid money all over the place. So that was quite tempting to go around there quite a lot. Why wasn't she keen on your wife, Kitty? Well, I don't know. It's really quite depressing, but, you know, I was very close to my grandmother, but there's my wife there. But I, I, I suppose the thing is, I was so close to my grandmother that she didn't really want me to... Oh, she was a threat. She quite liked just playing Scrabble with me. And when I introduced my wife... Uh, well, she wasn't my wife then, she was my girlfriend, but when I took her around to meet my grandmother, she did everything she can to turn, um, to turn her against me, including when, she, when I went to the loo, she turned to my now wife and said, Darling, you know that he does the smelliest shits. <laughs> <laughs> he comes here. Here. And he plays Scrabble, and then he gets up and he goes to the loo, and he's so ghastly, I have to fumigate. <laughs> and then she fixes her in the eyes and says, Is that the life you want? <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I went once we were having lunch, and she just stopped the conversation and said, Michael, darling, what was the name of the girl you really loved? Come on. <laughs> I mean, this is how bad it was. Oh, so I had to make a choice, and unfortunately, you know, I didn't speak to my grandmother. Um, and we fell out and, and then uh -huh. she died. But it's, you know, I had to write about it and, um, and you know, I'm getting some sympathy here. But, you know, I loved her a great deal. Yeah. And, um, oh, she's a great you know, lady. And you can't, you know, you can't write about your life without... Because there is comedy in, in, yeah. in, in tragedy and disappointment and yeah. in, in loss. And I really enjoyed, you know, yeah. writing that up in the book. Yeah. Oh, I can hear her speak as I'm reading it. I can hear yeah. the accents. Yeah, well, I tried to write it as she was. Actually, as imagine a Marley in a yeah. You know, yeah. that kind of voice. It's very, well, you know, because she, she spoke very good English, but she never learned to spell it. So you can imagine these Scrabble <laughs> games <laughs> were a nightmare. Well, once, well Michael, please yeah. don't go anywhere. I'm not going, going anywhere. No, stay there. After the break, we're going to discover how Michael made it to the top, and Joe here is going to sing live. So don't go anywhere. See you after the break. <laughs>